The developing story of New Orleans where a well-known high-ranking city official has been indicted by a federal grand jury for tax fraud. Councilman at large Jason Williams, who's also running for district attorney this fall, faces charges that could include possible jail time if he's convicted. Good evening, everybody. I'm Travers Mackle. Tonight, we cover how this could impact Williams' political future. But first, let's go live to WDSU Sherman DeSalle, who has a closer look at the charges that Williams is now facing. Sherman. Yeah, good evening, Travers. This indictment is after, this is weeks after the councilman acknowledged that he was under a federal investigation for the last two years. He says that he was not the cause of this fraud, but the victim. The indictment has charges, inflatable charges of nearly half a million dollars. New Orleans Councilman Jason Williams is now facing 11 counts of fraud and tax charges. The charges, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office, are conspiracy to commit fraud, aiding and assisting and preparing false and fraudulent returns, and failure to file IRS 8300 forms, documents that relate to cash received by trade or business. In a statement from his attorney, Williams blames his longtime tax preparer, Henry Timothy, for botching his taxes something that will be critical to prove in court. What's going to be presented at any type of trial is his taxes or his failure to do so, um, his bank accounts. His tax account is going to be crucial in this matter as to whether or not they can prove their case. The indictment also claims Williams and Nicole Burdett, an attorney for his law firm, conspired to reduce Williams's tax liability for the 2013 through 2017 tax years by classifying personal expenses as business expenses. The indictment states Burdett is responsible for paying the law firm bills, receiving client payments, and maintaining records. Burdett's attorney also blames Henry Timothy, who, according to them, has falsely held himself as a CPA. He's also under criminal indictment or a plea in this case. And so if he's the only witness, then it may be very difficult for him to prove their case in terms of, you know, credibility because he has something to gain by testifying against Jason in the court. Now, Jason Williams has been a council member since 2014. He says he does not plan on stepping down from that seat, and he is ready to prove his innocence in court. Reporting from the federal courthouse, Sherman DeSell, WDSU News. Sherman, thank you. And as Sherman just said, Williams' lawyer says that the councilman is not stepping off the council and does intend to run for district attorney this fall. But after today, political analysts say that's going to be an uphill battle. An indictment is only an allegation, and legally, Williams is not required to resign from the city council. But he's running for district attorney this fall, the city's top prosecutorial position. Political analyst Dr. Ed Shervenek weighed in on Williams, possibly running a campaign while under federal indictment. It happens. We saw Bill Jefferson. He had lots of legal problems, and he won. Uh, Marion Barry in Washington, D.C., another one with legal problems and he was able to win the election. So it's, it's not unprecedented, uh, but it's a, it's a steep climb. It's difficult. Williams is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. And while the Democrat and his well-known criminal defense attorney, Billy Gibbons, maintain the charges are an overreach by the feds and they'll prove that, it's totally different when it comes to the political arena and the court of public opinion. Here's Xavier political pollster, Dr. Silas Lee. This is a major distraction for him. And in terms of how he will resolve it and trying to erase this from the minds of voters is going to be a challenge because you can bet any opponent would use this against uh, Jason. And this case is being handled by federal prosecutors in the Western District of Louisiana, which is the Lafayette area. That's because when this matter started, the U.S. attorney here recused his office. The case will be assigned to a judge in downtown New Orleans, but once again handled by out-of-town prosecutors for the Department of Justice. And Williams is not the first New Orleans City Council member indicted by the feds while in office. In 2007, Oliver Thomas was indicted, resigned his position, pleaded guilty, and served just over two years in federal prison. In 2009, Renee Gail Pratt, shortly after she left office, was indicted and convicted of numerous crimes at a trial in 2011. And in 2012, John Johnson was indicted, resigned, pleaded guilty, and served six months in jail. 
Again, Jason Williams is only accused of tax crimes. He is innocent until proven guilty.